the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. Regade Gashagua, the Cabinet Secretary in charge of Education, Cabinet Secretary in charge of Water, Honorable Alice, one of our own, the Majority Leader in the Senate and in the National Assembly, our Bishop, various leaders from Moranga, led by our Senator, our Women Rep, and members of Parliament, the leadership of the Assembly, led by the Speaker and the Majority Leader, uh, the school management, including the chief principal, and the distinguished students of the greatest school in Kenya called Mugoiri Girls. How are you? Yeah. Let me first acknowledge that, uh, Your Excellence, this is one of our best schools in Moranga, and I strongly believe in the Republic of Kenya. For several reasons. Number one, it performs very well academically. Last year, when you look at the KCSE, it was among the very few schools that in, improved their mid-grade by 0 0.5 mark. That was excellent. <laughs> Secondly, it is a school that molds our girls in very good character. I can attest to that because my wife was a student here and and definitely, I can attest it's a good school. I only want to apologize. I have had the nominated MP from uh, Kangema, uh, that is Veronica Maina, say she, di she discourages child marriage, and that's very good. Only that she was my friend when she was form four, almost getting her. <laughs> but nothing bad happened, Your Excellence. Uh, but I'm proud that uh, since the year 2008 up to now, she remains one of my, uh, the only wife that I have. And, and therefore, I want to attest this is a school that builds very good character. And we are so proud of this school. And secondly, it's a school that has grown very well in terms of infrastructure. When I came here, I was so surprised. This looks like a very, 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 very good school in terms of infrastructure. Congratulations, the management of Mugori Girls. Yeah. And therefore, allow me also on behalf of Muranga people to endorse all the requests that they have made to you, Your Excellence. Please accede to those requests. This is going to be a very great school once those requests are acceded. Your Excellence, you sent us governors to go and fulfill our agendas, Your Excellence. That has been your clarion call. And based on that instruction that you gave us, Moranga government had four promises that we had made to the people of Moranga. Number one, it was on health. We want to report to you, we have introduced a special card, which is an, an arrangement between Moranga County and the, and the NHIF, where we give special and unique benefits to the people of Moranga, and currently that NHIF scheme has 20,000 households. In the next year, we want to upscale that to 30,000 households. We also found that in the year 2015, an amendment was made to CDF Act, barring CDF from doing devolved functions. Therefore, members of parliament abandoned several health centers. We are doing an agenda to ensure all abandoned health centers have been completed. We are happy to report uh, we are towards achieving that goal to ensure we complete our, our, our renovations of various dispensaries. We are also renovating our level four hospitals. We have seven of them, and we are happy because that's what we promised the people of Muranga. Secondly, Your Excellence, you had urged us as county governments to implement a minimum guaranteed return. We want to report that uh, we introduce it for mangoes and also for milk farmers. Currently, for milk, we have 19,000 farmers who every month they receive a certain subsidy per month directly sent to them. Uh, and therefore, milk production has almost doubled in Moranga because of implementing that major promise you told us. Thirdly, Your Excellence, in terms of education, it is unfortunate the Constitution provides we only deal with early childhood education, the nurseries. But we are happy to report that uh, we have renovated 
through a scheme called Community Projects, 126 new ECDs uh, to make them look good. And secondly, we are giving 42,000 ECD peoples every day a uh, free feeding program in terms of UJI every day. And, and that is what was a promise you told us to fulfill. Finally, Your Excellence, we have unveiled a program called uh, Smart City. The idea is that the county governments may not be able to tarmac all roads. It's very expensive. But if you were to do targeted programs targeting our urban centers, there will be a better return on investments. And therefore, based on that, we have been able to tarmac seven markets, in the, eight markets in the entire uh, in the entire county of Muranga. I will finish by thanking you on a single issue called automation. We believe the best legacy we leave to the people of Muranga is to automate our services. That way you make a government that is clean, that is efficient, and you reduce corruption. And of course you have automated revenue streams, but there is one partnership that we have done with the Minister of Health and we want, on behalf of Muranga, please tell her thank you, together with your government. Muranga Level 5 Hospital is now the only Level 5 hospital in the Republic of Kenya that is fully automated in terms of services. You only need to go with your ID. You access all your services. And after you are done, the record is kept in your mobile phone. And that would not have been possible, we are in order for the positive relationship we have, with your national government. Maybe the only agencies would urge you to tell them to do a little bit better are the rose agencies, that is Kenha, Kura, and Kera, uh, because there are some areas that we are still struggling to agree on them on how to move our county forward. So without much ado, allow me to take this opportunity to welcome the Deputy President of the Republic of Oz. Uh, yes, the Minister in charge of education, that is uh, Mr. Mashogu, and we are happy for your good work. Thank you so much.